Hello, this is Dale. In this mini course, I'm going to be talking to you about financially strong stocks. I have my MBA and worked for DuPont and mergers and acquisitions for a while and learned the, the power of cash from operations. Cash from operations is really all the money that the corporation made and uh, if you choose companies that have the highest cash from operation in, the, in, a, in a positive trend in, in their market sector, they will outperform not only the market sector, but their, the, the S&P 500. This is a chart I put together a while ago. And... Uh, Basically what I'm doing here is the black line is the S&P 500 that has been normalized. So I'm comparing Monsanto, Caterpillar, and Danaher to the S&P 500. You'll notice that before the, the crash in 2008, Monsanto had outperformed the stock market over 700 percent. Danaher and Caterpillar were up close to 200 percent. Now you'll notice that during the crash the big boys, the financially strong, that outperformed the market tumble hard. And that's exactly what we want. We want a stock that's going to increase more than the market, and then when the market turns around, we want a stock that's going to decrease more than the market. This gives us an active stock, and this gives us an active portfolio. Now what I'm looking for is the cash from operations. The cash from operations can be found on the statement of cash flow and it starts where other people stop and it starts with net income. You hear the Wall Street Journal and you hear just about everybody, the talking heads on CNBC talking about earnings per share. What's going to be the latest earnings report? But the business people understand that it's not earnings that really what the company ha needs is positive net cash from operating activities which takes the net income makes any changes for depreciation changes in working capital and then comes down to the cash from operating activities what I'm looking for is at least a positive trend in the last five years Let's take a look at Abbott Labs. This is an extreme positive trend and this is the kind of stock that I'm looking for. This is a financially strong corporation. Now this was one of my picks in 2012. Now, every year when the in the year end I look at the financial uh, statements and I will change the portfolio and usually the portfolio is between 20 and 25 stocks that are in 10 different market sectors and they're the stocks that have the best cash from operation the best trend so they are in the best market sectors and they are the best stocks within that market sector the the website that I use to get all this information is Guru Focus, and this is going to be hard for you to see probably, but this is a, this is Guru Focus, and what we're looking at is Apple, and you can see this was their cash from operations in 2010. Their fiscal year goes September to September, but notice it went from 37 billion to 50 billion to 53 billion to 59 billion to 81 billion that's the positive cash from operation that I'm looking for
Now, this is the uh, financially strong stocks. It's a list of the stocks for 2014. And every year I do this, I redo this, and the, the members, the pro members of Options Infinity will get that list. I do all the work for you. I go, I pick the the strongest market sectors. I go through Guru Focus and pick the ones with the, the, the best cash and operations. And I come up with my list. It's usually between 20 and 25 stocks. This is what it was for 2014. Uh, from 2013 to 14, there were eight new stocks and seven were dropped. So it gets, it, 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 it evens out at about, you know, between 20 and 25. The blackened ones were the ones that I picked up in 2014. 2015, we have a whole new list. As a pro member, you will have access to that list. And as we approach 2016, usually about March of the year, I will update that list, put it on the website, and you will be privy to it. These are the stocks that I follow. These are the stocks where I trade options, calls, and puts throughout the year.